I get this call from a dear friend. He said, man, you know, we got a bad sister in Evanston, and she's pushing the reparations question strong. We dress for the black community, for the nation. And so it was Alderman Simmons. You have become the visible face and the driving force of the Evanston Reparation Initiative. Some mornings I wake up and I feel like, wow, I'm a part of history. This is special. And then it's intimidating at the same time, because what if you don't get it right? The greatest hurdle. Evanston made history last year when it became the first U.S. city to approve a reparations program, which provides financial assistance to black residents who are victims of housing discrimination. The new documentary, The Big Payback, follows Alderman Robin Ruth Simmons as she fights to obtain this big payback. Back. Joining us now, the film's directors, Whitney Dow and A Erica Alexander. Thank you both for being Good here. Morning. Thank you, Robin. Nice Thank so, you, Larry. Let's start with you, Erica. How did you get on board with this project? Well, you know, um, I'm blessed to have been in this business for 40 years now as an actress. And I started to expand my skill set. And I thought I might try directing. And Whitney Dow, who is an accomplished uh, documentarian, we thought we'd uh, partner up on this because of the nature of what we were talking about, obviously, reparations in America. So we did, and we got started. Whitney, the idea of reparations uh, is a difficult one in America. It might be easier in a more liberal town like Evanston. So how do you bridge this divide in other places? Well, I think that, you know, this film, and we would hope people come out and see it, it really is sort of an object lesson in how to do that. I think that we're all, the entire country is trying to grapple with its past. Now, we saw in 2020 sort of what we've gone through, especially for white people like mm -hmm. us trying to understand our relationship to the past. And Evanston is a great object lesson, people to look at a community that can actually go back, honestly address its past, and find a solution that will help it move forward. So this is in 2021 this happened, and uh, talk about the older woman who was involved in this and where things stand with her now and how it's been going. Well, Robin Ruth Simmons actually passed um, in, along with a mostly white council in 20. No, 2019. 2019. Yeah, that's when we first went no, to Evanston. Because yeah. actually in 2021, she, she's not an older woman anymore. So she actually stepped down. So she's been working all this time to implement it with, uh, along with the uh, council and along with the citizens, trying to figure out how to do it. That's been it. And she's been phenomenal. And I think people are going to use uh, this example as uh, not just a test, but a model around the country. So the argument is, in places like Tulsa, and other places crying for reparations is that why should the current generation pay the price for previous generations? What does the documentary uh, say that speaks to that argument from people who are against reparations? Because people now you talk, are also, they're, they're already people paying the price for the past history they're doing. That. So the black Americans that have, like in Tulsa, for example, like the idea that the past is the past, that the past somehow doesn't infect everything that we live with today is just like preposterous. So, um, and, and that's hopefully what we show in the documentary. You can actually see structurally how the, 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 the policies of Evanston didn't allow generations of black people to see this, to have the same opportunities and achieve the same wealth as the white Evanstonians, and now they're trying to find a way to, um, you know, to, 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 some, to address that. And these reparations were tied to housing, right? Is that still the case there? Yes, and one of the, one of the issues, I think, on reparations is you also have to construct something that's, that's legal, right? right? So you actually have to have an injury and repair, the, and repair the injury. And it's also, if you're gonna give tax money, it has to be defensible legally if you're gonna hand out tax money. So they tied that to the very, um, you know, the easily documented uh, injury of, of, um, of uh, redlining, and mm -hmm. so they thought, because it was became a redlining, the people were not allowed to build wealth through real estate that they could then implement this and, and actually give black Evanstonians an opportunity to uh, get the, the reparations actually go towards uh, down payment on houses or um, to repair. repair their houses. Yeah, and very quick, Erica, do you think this will speak to people who are against it or are you preaching to the choir here? You know what, I think it's an opportunity to have a conversation. Yeah. And I believe that um, Americans are open to the fact that if something was done, that it's within our we're Americans, yeah. and we can address it, and we can do it well. Well, Erica and Whitney, we thank you both for being here. And you can catch the big payback this Saturday at the Chicago History Museum and Sunday at the AMC River East. For more, check out ChicagoFilmFestival.com. Good to see you both. Thank, thank you for you. joining us. Appreciate you. Hey, Paul.